Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a random unboxing. There's only one box, only one package, but I am so excited to dig into this. And I guess I just wanted to show you that I don't even really know what's going on in here. I mean, I have seen thumbnails online. Um, I haven't even seen any snap stories. I know, I think Huda Beauty or someone big did a snap story on the new KKW products. I have only seen small thumbnails. I kind of made it my mission to like not look, like I don't want to see everything. I want to give my own thoughts and you know my take on it without hearing other people's opinions. So I am going to open this right here right now with you guys, take a look together, of course try everything new on, and I think I am going to do a wear test. I know this is not like hot or not, it's not an OMG, it's not a WTF, it's just me being really excited about a new launch. I'm in. And we have a KKW box. So you open this package up. There is a mirror in here. This is like very sturdy uh, packaging, PR packaging that it comes in. I always have to say, you guys, as much as I can appreciate beautiful PR packaging, I'm always straight to the makeup. Like I get excited about the product itself and um, that's what I'm most interested in is just peeling everything out of here, swatching it, trying it on, looking at the texture and just like getting really into how it wears. This is so strange. All right, so there's no logo or anything on here. It is just completely simple. There's nothing junking up any of the container. I kind of like that. I mean, but that's bold to have your lip product without a logo on it. Like, I mean, she's Kim Kardashian. She can do whatever she wants. So to not have a logo on it, I kind of dig it. On the bottom, it doesn't really say what it is. That's something that's a bit of a drawback. It just says iridescent. So you don't know if it's a liquid lip, a lip topper, a gloss, like what are you? It doesn't really smell like anything, which I would rather have a lip product smell like nothing than smell really chemically or have an overwhelming perfumey scent. Like I personally love food scents, you know, very vanilla, buttercream, lemony, kind of like lemon cookie kind of scents that are sweet. But when it gets into the area of like rose and smells almost plasticky and floral and you like lick it on your lips and it just tastes really bad. I don't like that. So I would rather it smell like nothing than something horrible. It swatches really shiny. It's a really interesting swatch, I have to say straight away, because there's a lot going on in here, but it's not like you don't need a lot of product, which is kind of strange in a good way, because usually with these more glittery glosses or top coats, you like really have to swirl the brush around and try to like grab a bunch of product out. So this is the iridescent gloss. And then right below it, you have uh, what looks like just a powder. So this one has the KKW Beauty logo on the side. I don't know if this is just how it is for PR or if when people purchase it, you're gonna have the logo as well, but you can see. All right, I'm just gonna give like a little quick shake right here. I mean, there's no denying that is beautiful. And I actually really love the idea of having a corresponding lip to whatever you put on your cheeks as highlight, and then you could go in on the eyes with it. I'm gonna figure out what one I want to kind of go with my look today to wear throughout the day. And I know that I left like right here blank on my eyes. I haven't put on any highlight. I'm wearing the appropriate uh, shoulder showing shirt for shoulder highlight. And then of course, I'm gonna play around with the glosses and layer them on top of a very simple lipstick that I have on right now, which is from Pure Cosmetics. This is the shade Stripped. So I just kind of like dabbed it on my lips because I needed something. I got powder all over my lips and they were feeling kind of dry. So uh, yeah, let me kind of swatch the others and let's take it from there. So the next one that we have is yellow gold. These are pretty. I mean, there's nothing, I mean, they're pretty. I can't really say much beyond that. I like the packaging. I like the formula so far swatched and the color selection is really good. So we have this kind of peachy one. It looks like it has larger, more iridescent glitter flecks in it. Rose gold seems a little more see-through and just high shine than with that, you know, iridescent little micro glitter in there. It's very interesting. I like it. Okay, then we have the one that caught my attention the most when I opened up the package, just because the color is the most interesting and unique. This is the shade Bronze. Now it has a kind of duochrome feeling. I'm seeing purples, pinks, I'm seeing golds. It has a very interesting tone to it. 
Yeah, so this is gonna be the one, like if you want a lot of glitter and you wanna use one of these more as a topper on your lip, I think you would be really happy with this. It's a very unique color. I have a drawer filled with this type of a gloss, like filled with lip toppers, glittery lip glosses, and I don't have a color that even comes close to this. All right, from there we have the shade Copper. This one looks like it will have a lot of pigment to it. And I was wrong. I mean, it has a little bit, but you know, it's not anywhere near what it looks like in the actual tube. So these are all very pretty. Do I think that you need every single one of them? No, you know, pick and choose what you think you would use over and over and over. Really quickly before we scooch the camera forward, I wanna let you guys know that I'm still loving the contour stick. And this ended up being a controversy on my channel that I really didn't think was going to be. And it's just one of those things where now I realize anytime I say something that kind of can divide people's opinions, like you guys are gonna get vocal and that's just part of the game and that's fine. But I did get called a lot of really horrible names for liking a contour stick where, I mean, <sighs> When you just look at that, like, isn't that kind of crazy? Like, why would you call someone a name because they like a piece of makeup? Like, that's just weird to me. But I have to say, I do love this product. Like, no BS. I will continue purchasing this. I love this product. It is one of the best contour sticks I have ever used. I'm wearing it today. It never fails. It always blends out to perfection. If you have not tried this, try it. I wish that they sold it separately. I wish you got more product in the tube. That would be great and better because I don't really love the whole kit idea, but the product itself is so good. So please know when I'm sitting down here reviewing anything, whether it is from Kim Kardashian, whether it is from Wet n Wild, Cicely, Chanel, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you my 100% feedback. Um, all right, so let's get to it and we're gonna be high shine today. These are all really beautiful. Like they have this nice glow about them. It's not even glitter. It's like they have this nice glow. Does anyone know how much these are though? It didn't come with a fact sheet or anything like that with the pricing or ingredients. So I'm kind of going in blind. I will try to dig around and find out exactly how much these items are. So every lip gloss has a matching loose pigment that you could use you know, on the high points of the face. You could use it on the eyes. You can use it on the body. The thing that I'm noticing with these is they have a lot of micro glitter that matches the actual pigment, which is something kind of different and I do really love. Like these are very glowy high shine, but not too in your face. It's just like a nice balance between, you know, enough that it's noticeable without being too aggressive. So I like it. I'm excited to see if all of this looks good on my eyes and whatnot. So let's actually start there. I think I want to try this one right here. This is the rose gold pigment. So I'm just going to tap a little out in my hand. Oh my gosh, a little goes a long way. Like I do not need that much. And I'm actually gonna go in with just my fingertip. Just press, starting at the center of the lid. That's beautiful. It's not too shiny, but it has enough of a glow to just like look really, really pretty. I like that. I'm gonna try the other eye using a brush just to see if it goes on different. You'll definitely experience more fallout if you use a brush versus your fingertip. But let's also try spraying. I'm gonna go into iridescent with a dampened brush and I'm gonna hit the inner corner. Dang, that's really, really bright. I don't know that it so much goes with the other shade that I tried out, but it's really hard for me to look at all of this and not wanna try like every single shade. So this is probably not a look that I will do again, just because this is so, you know, cool toned. And then I have a lot of warm tones, which by the way, I also tried out today for the first time, the Take Me Home palette from ColourPop. You guys, this is really good. It's very good, like cute little neutral palette, little powdery, but really good palette. Okay, let's match up the other eye. Um, I think this jar would last you a lifetime because a little bit goes a long way. That is really pretty right? So pretty. So I'm actually going to highlight the face with the rose gold. And I'm going to take a little bit of iridescent on top of it. 
I'm just kind of wanting to play and see what happens. I actually really like the iridescent as a highlight. That is, dang, that is a glow. I'm pretty blown away right now because I like this more than I thought I would. It's very similar to the Make It Forever highlights, like the loose pigment highlights that I have talked about before that I really, really love. The difference is this just has a tone to it that has this little tiny kind of touch of micro glitter within the pigment. So everything's just kind of like amplified and shiny. And I do like how this is sitting on the skin. I mean, that looks gorgeous. I'm first gonna try out the rose gold gloss just because I'm wearing so much rose gold. And I just kind of want to see how it layers on top of this nude lip. It doesn't do any of that separation stringy thing, so I really like that. I really wish I knew how much these products were so I could tell you if I thought the price was right, um, but I can't find it. Let's try the copper one. Wow, I actually like that more than I thought I would. Now here's a cool trick that you can do with pigments is you can actually take whatever you've put on your cheek, your eyes, if you want to transform and enhance whatever you have on your lips already, and this gloss I feel is gonna work really great for this trick, you can take that pigment, and I'm just taking the rose gold pigment now, and I'm gonna enhance it. And you don't have to do this just over a gloss, you could do it over a lipstick, which actually gives me a really good idea. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish up my eyes with a little liner lashes, we're gonna pull the camera back out, and I'm gonna try one more thing, and then of course we are gonna do a wear test, so I'll be checking in with you guys at the end of the day. You guys, I am loving the way that my eyes look, I'm loving the glow, I'm loving the gloss. We are gonna play around with one more technique as far as the lips go, and I'm gonna put on a liquid lip and put the powder on top. Look at that, is that not so mesmerizing? That was the tiniest bit. This is the bronze pigment, and also I did hop online, I wanted to figure out out how much these were. For some reason, I thought they would be sold individually, but they're actually sold as a pair, which I think is pretty cool because you can have that whole, you know, corresponding monochromatic vibe with your highlight and gloss, and it's 32 bucks. I was kind of shocked at the price. I thought it would be more. I feel like this collection is priced so fairly. Two items that are really beautiful, that are made well, packaged well, that you're gonna get a lot of use out of for 32 bucks, I think that's awesome. So as of right now, I'm really into these. We are gonna see how this all looks at the end of the day. I am gonna sit back down. I'm not gonna vlog today. Side note, I'm going through a bunch of crap in my personal life right now, you guys. It's been a tough week. My dad had emergency surgery. And if you follow me on Twitter or Snap, you probably already know about that. I just don't think I'm gonna be busting out the vlog camera today. I'm just gonna kind of take it chill. But I will sit back down right here at the very end of the day to see if this creased, if the highlight is still strong and kind of give you a final update. But before I leave to the rest of my day, um, I wanna take this gloss off and I wanna do that whole other trick. I'm gonna take a liquid lip from Pixi. This is Pastel Petal. I like doing this before it dries. A lot of people like doing it after it dries, but what I'm gonna do is take some of the rose gold pigment and I'm just going to put it on my fingertip and I'm gonna press this into my lips. I'm gonna focus it right on the center now, if you wanted to, you could leave this just as it is and have a nice matte ombre effect that has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it and a little bit of a highlight in the center. And of course, you could play around with different colors and do the same technique with something other than just the rose gold. This gives like a very intense kind of gold punch. But what you could also do, and I use this technique a lot actually, you can then go in with the gloss on top just in the center and it's just gonna give a really volumizing look. This is like very sophisticated, glowy makeup. Oh, I didn't highlight my shoulders. I am gonna take the iridescent highlight and I'm just gonna see how this goes on the shoulders. Like, why not? Ooh, girl, that was too much. All right, so I am glowing everywhere and I wanna see how long the product wears, what it looks like several hours from now. So 
we're gonna do that and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, it is now the very, very end of the day. It is 11 o'clock at night. I probably should have sat down to do this final check-in a lot sooner, but uh, yeah, everything has basically fallen apart as far as the shine on my face and very obviously my lips because I have had lunch and snacks and I had Shake Shack for dinner. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, which I don't know what lip product is gonna last through a burger. Do you know what I mean? Like even a liquid lip with it being like oily and greasy. So can I just say that I like everything here, but of course, it is not incredibly long wear. So as far as the lips, I do really enjoy the formula. I think that they are beautiful. Um, they aren't so different in color, obviously, that you need like the whole collection, unless you wanna collect them or you're really that into them. I think like one or two sets would probably be appropriate. And why did I put them back in here? Oh my God, it's so hard to get out of this thing. Mm. Oh, whoa, I just realized something. Oh. <gasps> I didn't think that this said KKW Beauty on it. I thought it was just completely bare and empty, but it is so faint. It says KKW Beauty, you almost miss it. It's so subtle. That's actually really elegant. I like that touch. Okay, so I'm gonna try on the shade bronze because I was really curious about this one, being that it has all of that kind of duochrome in it. So I'll just use the PR mirror right here. That is really pretty. That's probably the most glittery one though. Do you know what the copper one reminds me of so much though? Rihanna's lip gloss. How much is that one? Let's reference really quickly. Pricing wise, it's actually about the same. So the Fenty gloss is $18, the universal gloss. It has a little bit more of a wet texture. This one's a little bit more of a thick gel. I like them both. I just definitely felt like they had a similar type of a high shine vibe. But of course with KKW, you have all of these different guys to choose from and you get a companion highlight. We're here. I feel like playing with more makeup. So let's put the bronze shade on my eyelids as well because after I cut the camera, I'm just gonna be taking it all off anyway. So uh, let's do this. As far as the eyeshadow goes, I have to give a major shout out to ColourPop because my eyes, as far as like the framing, can we believe that that color is still there? I have not done one thing to my eyes all day long and it is 11 o'clock at night. And that is one of the like teeny tiny, very, very affordable little palettes. I really, really love it. And I have had a rough day, you guys. Like I had a moment where I broke down, I was crying. Like it's been just a crazy, crazy day. And usually you look in the mirror and you're like, great, you know, my makeup's gone too. You know, like it's, it usually happens like that. But I actually looked in the mirror and I was like, great. My makeup still looks okay. Um, so, so that happened. As far as the loose pigment all over the lid, because you guys saw I had a couple of shades on the lid, what I like is that it does fade down. It doesn't crease. It never bunched up. It never got greasy or creasy looking. There was no fallout. So the way that it wore down, I'm fine with. It's not extremely long wear. I was wearing a primer, so uh, yeah. Let's see how easy it is to just go in and pop on just a little more. Whatever they did with this. Are you seeing that? My God. And she wants more. I wanna try the gold highlight on. I think it's gonna look bad on me, but let's just try it. Just cause. Yeah, I'm more of the like icy highlight, you know? This sits on the skin perfectly. And to be honest, I now that I'm thinking about it, because I did have a crappy day, I don't know if my stepson Taylor was being nice just to like make me feel better, but he was like, your highlight looks really nice today. I favor this so much more than the larger um, bronze contour highlight kit that they came out, the palette, I reviewed that as well. This is like 5,000 times better. This is one of my favorite highlights that I've ever, ever used. It is so gorgeous. I will definitely continue using it. I will absolutely keep using the glosses as well. I think this is an incredible, incredible launch. And congrats to Kim Kardashian West. Good job, good pricing, beautiful packaging, beautiful product, and I really, really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and leave me those comments below. All right, I hope you're having a good one. I love you and I'm going to wash off all my makeup now. So I will see you in my next video. Mwah.